Hello. I come to you today from, surprisingly, Surprise, Arizona, uh, a Walmart parking lot where I spent the night last night. Uh, this is uh, just up the street away from Luke Air Force Base where I spent three of the more impressionable years of my life. Um, and uh, yeah, from the ages of 19 to 22, I lived here at Luke Air Force Base. I was stationed here with the Air Force. And uh, this place has changed a lot. I mean, I'm pretty sure this Walmart parking lot that I'm sitting in right now was probably just a field, a desert at that time. Uh, I was uh, kind of, it was a surprise, as I was kind of logged yesterday, it was, as a, it was a surprise <laughs> visit to Arizona. And I surprised uh, some friends that I have that live in the area. Uh, one of them is a high school friend, uh, who her, her and her husband are both Air Force veterans, but they, uh, as well. But they, uh, the girl I went to high school with, um, uh, Joey and uh, Katina Hoffman, were having a big Christmas party, and it was Christmas Day, and you know they were very kind to allow me to crash their Christmas party and. Had some great ribs that Joey had slow cooked for 24 hours and they were delicious and some great sides and cheese and really great piece of cake and uh, yeah that was great and I also let they had the cable he got the cable I needed to update the firmware on my telescope um, but they had a house full of people so I mean they offered me their couch but uh, which uh, was very generous to them as well but I it was it's I'm in Arizona it was actually nice really nice sleeping weather last night so I actually wanted to sleep in my truck and I also wanted to get out and try my telescope so what I did was uh, I went by Luke Air Force Base um, at night just to check it out and there was also a highway up here that back in the day in the mid 90s when I was here early 90s uh, it was a highway that went nowhere it was a um, I, I talk about it a lot over the past decades because uh, it was one only place where I topped out a car and I topped out a car for a long distance. It was, uh, at the time, I don't know why they built it. They built it in preparation. They did a lot of that around here back then. They do. They just knew this place was going to grow, I guess. But they built it in preparation for growth. And uh, at the time, there was nothing on it for 43 miles. There was not a thing. Nowhere. And we discovered it when we were out driving our, our deuce and a half, five-ton military trucks. Because we had to put miles on them one day and uh, you know this is before the days of google maps and so it wasn't on any paper maps but we just discovered it and saw the sign and said we didn't even know where it went it said 43 miles before services so one day, day i decided i was going to find out where it went and i uh, you know filled up my gas tank on my little 82 toyota supra uh well i don't know if i filled it up it was only three four, 43 miles but uh made sure i had enough gas to make it in case you know whatever I at least had twice that much, I guess, probably, but that's not important. I, uh, so I took off and I went pretty fast, but I wasn't quite certain, you know, that, you know, there wouldn't be anything else there. And sure enough, I went the whole 43 miles and there was nothing there. There was a gas station at the end. It, it intersected with I-10, uh, on the other side of the, uh, uh, White Tank Mountains, which is kind of on the west side of, uh, Litchfield Park, where Luke Air Force Base is, uh, and it just goes from Bell Road to I-10, and there was nothing, no housing developments, no golf. Now there's a golf course, some housing developments on it. I, just, I was, went out there last night, late last night after dinner with my fr friends, and uh, to mainly to just check it out and to see if I could find a darker sky spot because this is a big city and there's a lot of light pollution to t test out my telescope and. Uh, I did right right as you get onto the, that, that highway there was a, uh, a horse trails and there was a parking lot for horse trails so people could park their big parking lot nobody in it uh, so I parked it and set up my telescope although I did see, somebody was out in the desert with their truck and they would start it up every once in a while and stop and start it up every once in a while move a little ways I don't know if they were hunting or I don't know what they were doing or drinking beers I don't know but they they were pretty much just out in the desert for all I could tell and uh but other than that and there was a lot of cars so that is definitely not a ghost highway anymore there are a lot of cars on that highway but anyways back to the original story I then that day in my 1982 Toyota Supra I uh uh well all of us 145 horsepower but I thought it was a fast car at the time because it was a Toyota Supra it's a great looking car um and it was a dream car of mine at the time it was my first dream car purchase 
uh, and this was in 93-ish, I guess, 94, and uh, so I went out pretty fast on the way out, and then on the way back, I decided I'm just going to, you know, the, that car, because being in 82, it only had an 85 mile an hour speedometer, uh, but I knew it would go faster than that, uh, the, but that was by regulation that they only had 85 mile an hour speedometers until, I think, 85. Um, so I brought my stopwatch, and uh, had, they had mile markers, and I knew how long it was, because like, I used my trip meter, trip uh, gauge to measure it going out, and I just went flat out. <laughs> it's the only time in my life I ever did that. I went flat out. There's one bend in it, and I think I slowed down a little bit for that. But other than that, I went the whole way flat out, the whole 43 miles. And I averaged 128, I think, 0. 0.7, something like that. <laughs> or just shy of 130 miles an hour, uh, officially, via the stopwatch. And uh, the only time I ever did that, kept, held my foot to the floor the whole way, buck 30, my own little personal Audubon, and... Uh, so yeah, I went out there last night to see if what it's like, because it looks like on the maps, on Google Maps, it just looks like there's just one golf course in a development there. But apparently that's a very big golf course, because I swear a hundred cars drove by as I was sitting out there with my telescope. So it's plenty busy now, so it's no longer a your own personal Autobahn uh, situation, unfortunately, for those that live in the Phoenix, Arizona region. But... Uh, still pretty cool i found that little parking lot and good news my my I was able to sync up my telescope and i was able to get a couple of pretty good images with the slr of uh both the andromeda uh the orion galaxy and the i mean the orion nebula and the andromeda galaxy so success no it wasn't the skies weren't that dark so i couldn't see like the sculptor galaxy or the crab nebula or some of the other nebulas I just couldn't see them. I think it was because it was too light. In particular, the Sculptor Galaxy was too low in the sky. It was right in where the light pollution was the worst. So I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't see that at all, unfortunately. But uh, I did get uh, a couple of pretty good images. So success. So yeah, uh, I'm trying to get up with some uh, old Air Force buddies here. And uh, looks like I might be able to. And uh, that's pretty cool. Old Salt Dog and uh, Benjamin. <coughs> Benjamin Light, and uh, yeah, I might say hello to the Hoppins again. <coughs> they might get me on base, or either Ben might do it. But uh, <coughs> I mean, oh, I got some new tires on the truck too. That's why I was here at the discount tire. I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet because it looks like I might see some weather on the way back. Yeah, you know, my my old semi Tomas were they weren't too bad, but. <clears throat> they weren't too good either, and uh, they were starting to wear pretty bad on the inside edges. That was one of my hesitations, is I think I need an alignment, but hopefully I don't destroy these brand new tires on the drive home. Uh, maybe I could scrounge up an alignment here somewhere today too, but I don't know. <clears throat> it wasn't that bad. We'll see. Hopefully not. As you can tell, I'm still not feeling 100%, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I don't think I have anything severe. It's just, uh, I think I'm just being irritated by the cold, dry air. But uh, hopefully not, because I was in a party with a bunch of people last night. But uh, anyways, that's my update for today. This is December 26th of 22. Uh, this, this evening I am heading up to Flagstaff to hopefully get up this Powell Observatory that Joey told me about. Joey, props to Joey, he's a cool dude. And uh, uh, then I'm going to the Petrified Forest tomorrow. And then I'm going to start beeline it back home. I'm going to go by the White Sands, most certainly. And maybe stay there if, if the skies are clear, if the weather hasn't rolled in yet. And do a little bit more telescoping and astrophotography, because that is a dark sky region as well. And then booking it home as fast as I can, because I'd like to get home by New Year's Eve. Um, so wish me luck. Stay tuned. <laughs>